Yeah, so I just got a Booz RV solar panel, 180 watt. So uh, I'm gonna go through the installation with you. Before you do anything, make sure you take off the roof rack and uh, make sure it's flash with the edge of the solar panel. So when you put the brackets on, it's flush. And then you can screw in brackets. Just uh, by securing the uh, roof rack over the solar panel by itself, it's good enough that you could drive, like it'll hold it. You can't even move it, but of course, you know, we're gonna put on brackets just to be sure, like safe. And uh, like I said, make sure that, you know, they're uh, flush and then tighten down the bracket and then you can uh, put in the screws and brackets. I just got a piece of aluminum, bend it, made a bracket, it's pretty uh, heavy duty. So, uh, Got a couple of self-tapping screws. Uh, just uh, drop. Put a couple of drops of uh, whatever kind of glue that you got, you know, the, that's a strong glue. I'm just using Gorilla for metal and plastic. So when you put the screws in, it's, they're secured a lot better. Pre-drill a couple of holes and then uh, put in a couple of self-tapping screws. Just use two screws. Two or three screws on this
so uh, just put a some little bit of glue around the screws make it more waterproof and uh, we're pretty well done so we'll take it for a spin for 500k up north see if I lose it on a highway or not so next I guess I'll see you up north there we are up north it held I didn't lose it so what the solar panel did was charge my little Golab 300 watt and with that I ran my uh, Bujar V free fridge freezer all day all night also my CPAP machine and uh, that's just with a little 300 watt Golabs this Booja RV fridge was running off the 180 watt solar panel, Booja RV solar panel. It's a perfect solar panel for a little gold lapse. That's the highest you can get. So I was able to charge and have enough power to do my CPAP and the fridge freezer. And we had the freezer set up at minus four freezing so everything was frozen we had ice cubes unfortunately my blue eddy 2000 watt couldn't be charged with uh, one solar panel you need two solar panels so we had to get power from uh, the comfort station to keep it to charge it each day and uh, let's check out the solar panel see if it moved looks good and stealthy you can't even see it so anyways didn't move a at all solid and uh, along the highway there was no whistling there was no noise or anything like that so it was perfect okay we'll see 500k and we're home let's check it out see if it moved <laughs> It was a nice ride, another 500k, so a total of 1000k, and it looks good, nice and secure. There you go folks, Bouge RV, 180 watt solar panel, installation complete, and test it. Thank you for watching, click like and subscribe if you like, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.